Welcome back to our channel guys. Today we are going to bring you the latest updates in the Indian defense and technology from advanced radar upgrades for the Indian Air Force to India's strides in Indian research and space exploration. We have a lot to cover, so let's begin. Firstly, the Indian Air Force will enhance its Sukhoi 30 MKI fleet with the indigenous Uttam Active Electronically Scanned Array AESA radar developed by the Electronics and Radar Development Establishment LRDE. This advanced radar system featuring gallium nitride components offers superior range and performance. This upgrade is part of the Super Sukhoi program aimed at modernizing 150 of the 260 operational Sukhoi 30 MKIs. The Uttam radar has been tested extensively and Hindustan Aeronautics Limited will handle its production and integration. The estimated cost for this upgrade plan is $7.5 billion. This move will significantly boost the Indian Air Force air combat capabilities and mark a crucial step towards indigenous and self-reliance in defense technology. Now moving on towards the next news, India's deep ocean mission will get a boost with the construction of giant ocean research vessel capable of operating at depths of nearly 6,000 meters. The National Center for Polar and Ocean Research has signed an 840 crore rupees contract with Garden Reach Shipbuilders and Engineers Limited for the ship's construction, expected to be completed in three and a half years. This vessel will support critical scientific functions, enhancing India's ability to explore and utilize its deep sea resources sustainably. Next up, ISRO is getting its sight on the moon again with the Surya project, a new generation launch vehicle designed to carry humans to the lunar surface by 2040. ISRO chairman S. Somnath revealed that new generation launch vehicle is a key part of India's space vision 2047, which includes establishing a space station by 2035. The project aims to build on the success of Chandrayaan missions and propel India into a leading position in space exploration. Turning to naval deployments, the Royal Saudi Naval Forces has completed an afloat training course for 76 trainees on board the first training squadron of the Indian Navy in Kochi. The three-week program included simulator-based training on navigation, firefighting and damage control as well as hands-on experience in ship handling and seamanship. This training underscores the growing marine time partnership between India and Saudi Arabia. Now shifting our focus to the Indian Air Force. The Indian Air Force faces delays in the delivery of Tejas MK-1A fighter jets due to the supply chain issues affecting the General Electric F404 IN-20 engines. The delay jeopardizes the Indian Air Force goal to reach its shanks and strength of 42 squadrons by 2042. With current operational strength standing at 32 squadrons, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited is working to mitigate these delays, but the Indian Air Force remains concerned about meeting its future fighter requirements among growing regional threats. Lastly, India is moving towards self-reliance in navigation technology with the development of an indigenous Navic receiver chip by Bangalore-based Accord Software and System Private Limited, commissioned by the Defence Research and Development Organisation. This chip is designed for the Indian Regional Navigation Satellite System or Navic. This move aims to reduce dependency on the US-operated Global Positioning System and enhance India's navigation capabilities for both defense and commercial applications. These developments highlight India's continued progress in defense, space and technology sectors, from enhancing air combat capabilities to pushing for self-reliance in navigation. India's strategic initiatives are paving the way for a stronger and more independent future. So stay tuned for more updates on these exciting advancements. Like, share and subscribe to our channel, Jai Hind.